Hi everyone, I want to give you a quick look at the hardware in our new S-Series switch line. These are a line of 8, 24, and 48 port cloud managed layer 2 PoE Plus switches that integrate really well with our access points and with CloudTrax. Uh, so we have the S8 here, S24 beneath that, and S48. Uh, let's take a look at the S8 first. So in the box you have a quick start guide here. And we have some accessories and the switch. So this model has eight gigabit ethernet ports along with two gigabit uh, ethernet uplink ports and two SFP slots for fiber. Uh, you can use either the ethernet or the SFP uplink port ports, but not both simultaneously. Uh, there's a console port here and your LEDs indicating power, uh, maximum PoE, faults, etc. Uh, we put a really high power supply on this model, so you have a PoE budget of 150 watts total. That allows you to do up to 30 watts per port, that's PoE plus, uh, or nearly 20 watts across all ports simultaneously. That's enough to power one of our 3x3 AC models, the MR1750, uh, at high load on every single port. One of the cool features in the switch is that you can see how much power is being drawn in cloud tracks, uh, so you have a real-time view into that, and you can power cycle these ports remotely. So in the smaller box, there is a power adapter. Uh, this one's for US, but we also have European, UK, and Australian types. Uh, the power supply is inside the switch itself. There's also a rack mount kit, so you can mount this into a standard 1U rack. Uh, you can also turn the rack mount sideways, so you can use them to mount to a wall or to uh, under a desk or really anywhere. So again, on a rack, it would be you know like this. Uh, mounting it to a wall, you simply turn them sideways and you can mount that to pretty much anywhere. Uh, the screws for the rack mounts, and finally there's some rubber feet uh, if you're just placing this on a desk. We have a bunch of these running in our office right next to some of our support people who are putting them through their paces. Uh, there is a fan on board, but it's really quiet. So next up is the S24. Just open that up. So again, quick start guide some accessories, and the switch itself. So on the bottom of the switch, there's a QR code, and this is true across all of our models. Uh, if you're using our mobile app, simply scan the QR code, and that uh, switch will be added to the network in CloudTrax. So this model has 24 gigabit uh, PoE ports. It actually has the, the plastic cover on it still, so you can peel that off uh, for a nicer finish. Um, it's 370 watt PoE budget, and again it's PoE plus, so it can handle up to 30 watts on every port. Uh, there are four SFP ports that can be used simultaneously, so it gives you more options for fiber connectivity. Uh, and again, a console port and your LED indicators there as well. In the small box, again, just the power cord, uh, the rack mount kit, uh, it's the same you know, as the SA, uh, I'll put these on the side here or mount them this way to, to go into a wall. Uh, there are some rubber feet. The fan's a little bit louder in this model, so you may not want it right next to you, uh, but the option is there. Uh, and the screws for the, uh, the rack mount as well. Uh, and lastly, we have the S48. This model is almost identical to the 24 port, uh, but it doubles the number of gigabit ethernet ports to 48 and it doubles the PoE budget up to 740 watts. Uh, again, it'll have four SFP slots and a console port uh, along with your LED indicators. Uh, the package, you know, same, includes the power adapter, rack mount kit, and rubber feet. Uh, so that's the S-Series hardware. Again, it's all managed in the cloud. The cloud license is included with the cost of the hardware. These are integrated really nicely with OpenMesh access points, which makes your deployments and ongoing management really easy, really cost effective, especially when managing large sites and multiple locations. Thanks for watching.